chase the dream. I want you to, and I want you to get it. But if you're going too fast, the dream is going to cost too much. And if you're going so fast and you're not focusing, maybe you have so much of that dream already that you have forgotten to enjoy. I talked to a lot of successful people and one family, they looked at each other kind of bewildered because they, they've they got the family, they've got the kids, they've got the house and they're still head down. And I said, how often do you guys have a family meal at the table? And they just kind of looked at each other and they're like, yeah, you're, you're right. Uh, we could do that more often. And it's like, well, aren't you chasing a dream for a healthy family? And these kids are getting older. So take a few deep breaths. I want you to have the dreams, but don't sacrifice the soul in order to get, 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 and then lose what really truth is, is love. So that's where I step in. It's like, how can we balance both? And not be so focused in one area, one side of life, that you completely ignore the other side. You've got a lot going for you. Now, I can speak of this so well because my dad was a workaholic. In order to be close to my dad, I had to work beside him and he wanted a son. So I knew how to morph into who I thought I needed to be to get love. So I grew up as a tomboy, of course. And then since parents help you become the adult that they have been, I was a workaholic. And then I saw in my daughter and I sat her down and I said, no, 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 no. I learned from the best. I get it. I don't want you to be a workaholic and lose out on life and on love and beautiful stories to manifest and create that I messed up in and that my dad did. So look around today. I want you to have what you want and I will help you get there. But don't sacrifice love. Don't sacrifice good stories, happiness, because you're not going to get the year 2024 back. It's about balancing. If we go to the gym this afternoon, we're going to work the left and the right side equally. That's what I'm just going to ask you to do and then look to see how we can rewrite, redirect our energy. Because I will promise you, when you actually get balanced and happy and loving what you have, more will show up with ease, effortless. Your health will be better, communication with your family stronger, a um, better family album. I want you to embody this thing called life and not just run, 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 run through the playground of life, forgetting to stop along the way. You've missed an important part of life and let's get it back. So if you want more happiness, this is the key. Love yourself, love your family, pay attention to them. You wanted them, you wanted that, you have that. Now enjoy it. I've met people that have some really, really nice motorcycles, really, really nice cars. They don't ride them, they don't drive them. And it's just like, why get all of this good, good toys, good stuff? And then not even love and enjoy them. As they pull their motorcycle out of the trailer, instead of riding it eight and a half, nine hours like I did, it's just like, you're missing the point. So please reach out. I'm on your side. That's the best part. I just want to bring love a little bit more into each day. And I think that's the missing piece of the puzzle that we're going to find together. And thank you.